We are freestyling on silk today. And these two beautiful ladies are in charge. Working with active silk dyes this time. Purple, yellow, blue, water spray bottle, salt, TP for accidental spills or splashes. Gathered inspiration bouquet from the garden and ready to start. Girls prepared silk fabric by spraying it evenly with water. The colors mix beautifully on wet canvas. No need to make it dripping wet, we will continue to spray some water as we go. My students felt excited and a little nervous before placing first brush strokes down. I advised them to start small and just feel how fast and how far the color will be spreading out. Since it's a freestyle painting technique, there isn't any outline to stop the dye from flowing on canvas. It could feel frightening at first, but once you get into the process, it is quite soothing. Keeping the flower shape here even though it's really starting to spread out. The whole idea was to make this scarf look like flower petals on your shoulders. Bright, fresh, elegant. Once all needed areas were colored, we made sure the fabric is still moist and began to sprinkle salt. Right away, salt crystals begin to absorb all the moisture, moving the color along with it. This process starts to create beautiful pattern on silk fabric. Finally, well-deserved brownie break, <laughs> while salt is making its magic. When everything was completely dry, we got rid of the salt. This type of dye needs to be activated with steam. And for this purpose I have a special handcrafted steamer. We placed silk in between cotton cloth and newspapers before rolling it onto a metal tube. This way, once the steaming begins, all the excess dye will be absorbed by paper and cloth. The steamer was on the stove for about an hour. We washed the scarf with mild soap and added a splash of vinegar into the last rinse to make colors more vibrant. Laid it out on a towel to dry a little bit, then ironed while still damp. Tiny cut to take out one single thread along each side of the scarf. This trick allows to get perfectly straight line and use it to cut out the excess of fabric. And finally, hand rolling and hand stitching all four sides of our beautiful artwork. <laughs> 